Let's go to Raymond. Raymond, come on in. Good morning, Alberto. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Fantastic. Uh, first of all, thank you for what you do. Um, I appreciate your candor more than anything with all of the guests, regardless of their perspectives. I'm not uh, big on debate, but you asked for people to call in and share their thoughts and opinions about the medical system. So I figured I'd give it a try. Sure. Um, I think you're right about a few executives collecting the majority of the profits. I think it's a little more insidious even than you uh, claim that it is or, or state that it is. And I think there are a group of executives that have their hands in not only the medical system, but also the pharmaceutical system and the food uh, production systems. And I think a big part of our healthcare challenges are that those people are engineering a system between those three where they provide food that doesn't nourish the body very well, leads to illness and disease like diabetes, and then they treat those symptoms with medication. Of course, they're profiting from the pharmaceutical companies. And then it's a cycle in and out of the hospital. So they're collecting money on three fronts, and all of them are causing a shorter lifespan uh, for Americans. And I think that's that's what I see, and that's just an observation. So I figured I would share that with you. And let me just first of all tell you that I think you nailed it, and it isn't. And and by the way, I agree with you wholeheartedly. But I even add another system to it. And let me tell you why I'm adding the other system to it. And I spoke about this in my book, as I see it, class warfare: the only resort to right wing doom. A very important part of that system is also called the patent system. OK, and the, re the reason the patent system is in involved there is by having a patent system, you also preclude others from doing things similarly that you're doing that could be a lot more effective, a lot cheaper. Uh, I think you're advocating the government running the health care system, from what I gather. And I didn't hear your whole conversation because I don't get out on the road until about 630. But mm -hmm. uh, I I agree with government involvement. I think the government's involvement should focus on demonopolizing or, or getting rid of the monopolies that are in the system as opposed to taking it all the way over. So I differ in your opinion on that. I come from a perspective of paying cash for my medical expenses, and I do participate in a shared medical program that's not an insurance program that works very well for my family and has for many years. Um, but I negotiate every bill that I that I get, and I pay every bill that I get, and I get reimbursed for it from my association. So that works well for me. Um, that, I'm not saying that'll work well for everybody. But um, by doing that, I encounter a lot of smaller businesses that charge very reasonable prices, give you the prices up front, do a great service, and I enjoy that type of health care. And I think that's a good model as opposed to having everything owned by one big governmental organization. Because if you look at the way our military functions, there is an awful lot of overspending and waste. I mean, I'm, I'm in the construction business, and I see how much those government contracts pay for products. And it's oftentimes three times the money that the market would pay out in the bid market. There's a lot of waste in the spending in those organizations. So I think by demonopolizing it and regulating it to the point where it can be run more fairly for the consumer, we can get a lot of that wasted money back out of the system and use it to actually help people. Now, let me let me just say that I don't think I don't see the disagreement here. Let me I, I want the government as a backstop. You you are able to pay your particular bills on on an individual basis to the doctors that you like. But if you were to get certain types of cancers, you could not support that on your own. You would need us as a backstop to pay the kinds of bills that that kind of coverage from the from chemotherapy to solutions and all of that. So I'm saying I believe uh, what I've advocated is single payer and subsidized doctors, not uh, government run. Subsidized doctors to because again the knowledge comes from us all and single. 
payer. What that means is that when a doctor gets out of college, they don't have to have high prices to live to pay off the bills that they've, they've incurred to become doctors. So if we look at healthcare as a right, then we also inherently say having doctors are a requirement if healthcare is a right. And how do we get that? We have a competitive way of passing doctors through a system that they get paid for. And then the rest is free enterprise. Free enterprise mean doctors create their independent services. You like this doctor, you go to that doctor. You like this other doctor, you go to that doctor. But it is paid for from general funds and that card. Of course, we have guidelines, etc. And I don't see how that is in any way different than the opportunity that you have, just with a hell of a lot more safety to ensure that you don't, if you break your leg and some doctor tells you it's going to cost $100,000 that you don't have, that no longer occurs. So I, I don't see a lot of difference in what you want and what I'm saying we, should, we need to get. Well, and what you're saying makes a lot of sense to me. And I think if done appropriately, it's a good path to go towards, um, which is kind of unusual because I tend to disagree with a bunch of things you say on a regular basis. But <laughs> Look, I appreciate so, you, Raymond. Uh, Anything else but, before I jump to Gonzalo? Yeah, I, I realize you got to jump to the next caller. It's been a pleasure talking with you. Thank you, Alberto. Thank you, Raymond. You have a great day. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.